What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I have a very special treat for you all. Now Steve, the paddlefish expert, just texted me and said, hey Chase, our 10 year old paddlefish have laid eggs, they are fertilized and they are hatching now and I want you to come up and see them. So guess what we're gonna do? I'm gonna bring you guys along. We're gonna go up there and see all the paddlefish. We're gonna see the fish hatchery. You guys are gonna get to hear from my paddlefish expert, Steve, who is probably the most knowledgeable person on this species in the entire earth which is just crazy that he is only 30 minutes away from me. With all that being said, guys, let's head up there right now and I'm gonna pick up the camera when we get to Steve's paddlefish farm. I just pulled up to the paddlefish place right now. Steve is loading up the truck because we were about to head over to Kentucky State University Aquaculture to see all these teeny tiny baby paddlefish. That is where Steve hatches these guys out from tiny eggs to these giant paddlefish that he has here at his paddlefish farm. Now let's go check on Steve and let's go see what he's doing. So I know some of you guys will recognize this place from some other videos, but right here, this is the farm. As you can see right here, we have some of the ponds with a lot of the koi and goldfish in there. I don't know if you can see them all down there. And then in here, there's about a hundred paddlefish in here. And then over here is Steve's main pond. That's 180,000 gallons. That has just been absolutely full of giant paddlefish. And then over here, guys, this is where he's gonna be setting up for his sturgeon that are coming next week. He's getting a bunch of sturgeon eggs in next week, and they'll all be going in these tubs right here, and then eventually we'll be sold. Today is gonna to be an absolute dream of mine. Some kids growing up, they wanted to be in the NBA, they wanted to play in the NFL, they wanted to be doctors, nurses. Well, I wanted to be a fish hatchery employee that's what i wanted to do so today i'm going to fulfill my dream going to the hatchery seeing all the cool stuff they do there as well as see all the fish i just can't wait to see their setups guys and i cannot wait to bring you guys along let's head there right now all right guys so right now we're in the hatchery section of the warehouse i don't know if you all can hear me i'm trying to talk really loudly but as you guys can see there are a ton of tanks behind me we got bass in here all kinds of native fish as well as the baby paddlefish that are back there in the special room with steve right now but I want to show you all how massive this place is. There's a ton of tanks in here, and then this is just the start. This is just the inside of the hatchery for the university. And then out here, through this door, as you all can see, they got a bunch of ponds, as well as out this window right here, they have a bunch of ponds as well, where they raise up all their fish. I just cannot wait to show you guys more of this place. This is so cool. This is too cool, guys. Right now, I'm up in the attic of the hatchery. This is where Steve has worked at for over 30 years. And I love being hands-on, so I'm getting the nets for him to get these paddlefish loaded up to take back to his place. This is so cool being able to see the overview of the hatchery and all the baby paddlefish are right there, which I'm about to show you in just a minute. All right, here they are, guys. These are the baby fingerling paddlefish right here. This is the largest growing fish in North America. These guys are about two weeks old right now. You can see some of the eggs too right here that haven't even hatched out yet. But in here, there's got to be at least 10,000 of these little guys. Just a swarm. I mean, you can't even see to the bottom. These tubes are huge. And in every single container right here, there is just thousands and thousands of these guys. But as they get bigger, they will start to develop that spoon and have a more paddlefish-like look. But right now, guys, these are just fresh out of the egg. And so they're just trying to survive. It's pretty crazy to think that one day this fish right here will get over 150 pounds. So we're going to be weighing these uh, paddlefish, try put it on the thing and zero it. Wow, that's nice. Almost 100. Pretty close. And you said, Steve, 200 is about 10,000? Yeah, it's about 50 uh, fish per gram. It's a lot of paddlefish. <laughs> so guys, right there was just 10,000 paddlefish. And trust me, there is plenty more in these other tanks right here. There's probably gotta be close to at least 100,000, if not, half a million in these tanks. Something really cool about these fish as well is it takes them about 10 years to produce an egg. So a female doesn't become fertile until it is 10 years old. So these paddlefish right here are actually second generation. So Steve raised up 
these adults for 10 years just to get these little guys right here. And depending on the female paddlefish, they can lay anywhere up to 100,000 to 250,000 eggs at a time. That's why, as you see right here, there is just so many. And this all came from one single female paddlefish right here. It's pretty cool that just one fish can produce all these fertile eggs. So right now, what Steve and Tim are doing is they're loading up about 30,000 paddlefish each to raise at their place. That's just a fraction of the amount of paddlefish they have here. But Steve's place is only about 10 minutes from here, so it's a quick drive. So all they have to do is get all the paddlefish in here, close them up, and get them on oxygen. There's Steve's bag. So Steve was saying, guys, it's always important to double bag these fish when transporting because if the bag pops for some reason, not only is all the water gonna get out, but the oxygen will escape as well and you'll probably lose a lot of your fish. Right here is where Steve got his start 30 years ago. This is a research facility. And in the beginning, this other room was not even there. It was just this one area. And now Steve said they've expanded to five different buildings where they got shrimp, bluegill, bass, and all kinds of other stuff. And it's been super interesting to be here at this facility because there is not a lot of information out there on baby paddlefish. I don't know if there's any videos out there online that I even know of of paddlefish at this size. So now that we have all the boxes packed up, loaded up, and ready to go to Steve's, we're gonna go ahead and head there right now. And I cannot wait to show you all his amazing place as well as where we're gonna put these awesome paddlefish. We just got back guys and Steve has about 30,000 paddlefish right here. He used to have a ton of giant paddlefish. This is actually where me and Steve caught that one in a million platinum paddlefish that I had. This fish was honestly priceless. Unfortunately, that was one of the fish that we lost in the leak that happened this summer. So I'm so heartbroken about that. Hopefully we can get another one in the future, but honestly guys, they're just so rare that it may never happen again. But we're gonna get these guys acclimated right here. Um, Steve's probably gonna drop some knowledge on us. He's super knowledgeable. Like I said, he literally wrote a book about paddlefish. And we're gonna add all the fish in here. And something really cool about these guys too is they are so small. So hopefully we'll be able to come back and watch them grow. My last ones grew about an inch a week. So I expect these guys to grow really fast in this giant 180,000 gallon pond. And something that I didn't mention that you're probably wondering is what does Steve do with the paddlefish exactly? Well, Steve actually sells them. He sells them for food. He sells them to raise up in ponds for people to stock. And then he also sells them for your aquariums. So 99.9% .9 of all the paddlefish that you've ever seen in an aquarium, most likely came from Steve. The ones you see at Predatory Fins, those came from Steve. The ones you see at Ohio Fish Rescue, those came from Steve. And the ones that you've seen in my ponds, those also came from Steve. So Steve has had a huge impact on the paddlefish community. So Steve actually isn't an aquarium hobbyist, but back when I hit him up a few years ago, he was interested in the idea. And so I think I was actually one of the first people ever to get paddlefish and keep them with stingrays and keep them with warmer water fish. People think paddlefish are a cold water fish, but like a koi, they can handle cold temperatures as well as really warm temperatures as long as there's enough oxygen. I wanna show you guys this. So back on the back end of the property, something that me and Steve have talked about doing for a very long time, we gotta be really quiet or we're gonna spook them. You see the sterile right here? Watch, we should be able to see the ripples. See the little ripples down there? So these are all tadpoles and frogs. So this thing was built in the 1940s. There's actually a door down there underwater that leads to a massive room. I wanna come back here guys with a GoPro and snorkel underwater here and go back in the back room back there that was built pre-World War II and see all kinds of creatures that are hiding back in that room. If you all think that we should do that, make sure to drop a like on this video, comment down below and say, Chase, go back and snorkel the abandoned underground room that is completely underwater. There's probably fish down there as well as a bunch of tadpoles, maybe even some awesome newts and salamanders. Check out how beautiful all these koi are. Something that Steve does that not a lot of people know is he actually breeds koi. Steve can literally breed anything. So you see all this big brood stock right there. And then there's some of his smaller koi and goldfish that he actually has raised up in the last couple of years that are all for sale. Now you guys gotta look very closely, but in this 10,000 gallon pond right here, this is what Steve did with the rest of the massive paddlefish that he has left. These guys are about four or five years old. Can you see them down there? They look very, they're just big dark shadows. You gotta look very, very closely. These guys are about four or five years old. And I have some very exciting news regarding these paddlefish in this massive tank right here. We're actually gonna be bringing a bunch up to Ohio Fish Rescue 
very soon as well as taking some to Brian Barachek for his new aquarium expansion. And guys, if you didn't know it, Brian has been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Um, we've been praying for him. I hope you guys are praying for him out there. He is just such a kind soul and he's really done a lot for me. So I feel like it would be so cool to be able to bring him some of these fish. Brian, we love you. Stay strong. And I cannot wait to come up there and see the awesome aquarium expansion, as well as meet Big Rich and Josh and get them some more paddlefish for their outdoor koi pond. All right, Steve, what are we doing? So I'm checking the temperature and the oxygen level. The top number up here is in centigrade. That's roughly about uh, 68 degrees Fahrenheit. And then the oxygen level is 26, which is super saturated. It's like 300% saturated. So extremely high oxygen, which is fine for the fish. So what we're getting ready to do is push, put the fish into the tank. You wanna make sure you're in a shaded area. They can go into shock if you have them in the sun. As Steve was saying earlier, guys, that when these babies touch light for the first time, they can actually become paralyzed and all fall to the bottom and don't swim around anymore, which is super bad for the fish, obviously. So we're kind of waiting for some cloud cover right now. As you can see, we've got a nice shaded area and Steve's about to add some of these guys in there. And they, eventually this pond will be filled with massive paddlefish. There they go. You can see them all swimming away right there. Try not to drop my phone. <laughs> they look good and healthy, taking off. You can see them, they just look like little, little tiny microorganisms right now. And how fast will these guys grow, Steve? They usually grow about uh, three quarters of an inch a week. So right now they're three quarters of an inch. They should be about an inch and a half uh, by the end of next week, and then two and a half, and then three and a half. And so it goes on like that. Um, Within not too long, guys, you'll start to be able to see these paddlefish in here. Right now, they're just too small. But as you all saw in some of our previous videos, they get very, very big really fast. Well, all right, guys, that is Paddlefish Stocking 101 with the world's most knowledgeable paddlefish expert in the entire world, Steve. He's been like a mentor to me, and I'm super grateful for him. Without him, guys, a lot of these paddlefish wouldn't even be in the aquarium hobby, and you wouldn't even see them in people's ponds. They are such an amazing prehistoric fish and really hard to get your hands on. It was so cool that I got the opportunity to see these little tiny baby fish and bring you guys along. I hope you all enjoyed that. Cannot wait to come back here and show you all the growth rate on these fish. There might even be a platinum in there. We won't know yet until they get about eight to 10 inches. If y'all wanna buy these fish, make sure to hit up Rodrigo at Predatory Fins. I'm gonna have him link below. These are the same paddle fish that you're seeing here from this farm. They are amazing, but they need really 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 big ponds or a giant aquarium display so just make sure to keep that in mind with all that being said guys i will see you all in the next video peace